Hey guys, welcome back for another short video. Now, tonight at 8 o'clock, of course, we are going to be live streaming and then at nine o'clock in the same live stream, we're gonna be playing some first edition advanced Dungeons and Dragons. We've got our, our crew ready. I'm setting up miniatures and Dwarven Forge is a little bit of eye candy for you good folks. But before we jump into that, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. And uh, this is some good news. This is some positive news. Um, it seems that because of the OGL controversy, indie game developers have have boomed. Speaking of indie game developers, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Hellebard Games. Hellebard Games publishes the modules that they'd like to play. Whether you're playing 5th edition, any OSR rule set, or Castles and Crusades, old school is in play at the table. Now you can get Hellebard Games products directly from their website at hellebardgames.com or you can find them on DriveThruRPG. That's hellebardgames.com. So this comes to us courtesy of Polygon. Polygon is reporting here and let's uh, let's pop this open. I was excited when I saw this. This this makes me happy. This is a very positive and cool thing, and I think you guys will agree. Um, D&D OGL controversy turbocharges sales of virtually every other tabletop RPG. Okay? This is a big W. This is the RPG hobby posting its W. Let's get into this. This is uh, Charlie Hall over there at Polygon who reports, and he says, please go away. He reports, Dungeons & Dragons has long been synonymous with role-playing games. Brand awareness has traditionally helped it to the lion's share of sales, leaving smaller publishers and independent creators to fight over crumbs. All of that changed in January when publisher Wizards of the Coast, a subsidiary of game and toy giant Hasbro, attempted to alter its open gaming license. The effort backfired spectacularly, and its competitors are now reaping the rewards. I mean, this truly, this was their win. Windows 8 moment, or perhaps Windows ME moment. At least one tabletop publisher, Cobalt Press, and we talked about them, um, tells Polygon that its sales quadrupled in January. Goodman, on the other hand, had its best sales month of sales since 2003. Nearly every other publisher that responded to our request for data reported at least double the expected sales, with some selling through nearly an entire year's worth of stock in three weeks. I'm sure you've heard the joke several times over. Magpie Games co-founder and CEO Mark Diaz Truman wrote, on Pol wrote Polygon in an email, us indie designers have spent the last 20 years trying to get D&D fans to try something different, and Wizards of the Coast gets it done in a month. In the weeks that Hasbro spent publicly flailing, customers spent an extraordinary amount of money investing in its competition. Paizo, publisher of the popular Pathfinder and Starfinders game, reported on January 26 that it had sold through an eight-month supply of the Pathfinder core rulebook. Chaosium, publishers of Call of Cthulhu, likewise said it had sold through months of stock and has multiple new shipments of books on the way from its manufacturing partners. Digital formats have surged, which D&D has long been reluctant to offer. I think that's kind of a, a janky way to phrase that. Um, Wizards of the Coast once poured out everything on digital until 2007 when they tried these shenanigans the first time with the GSL, and then they came up with some invented reason why they had to take their entire catalog off of print-on-demand and PDF and they only reluctantly put it back in 2014. Um, let's see, we've been we, we've seen a big digital spike in all of our properties, Re are receiving a wild amount of interest in every single one of our game system, wrote Hunter's Entertainment Creative Director Knox Wheeler Burf, uh, with the award-winning Alice is Missing and Ragnarok leading the charge. Of course, uh, Green Ronin, Free League Publishing, 
Uh, Fred Hicks from Evil Hat says, uh, you can see exactly the day Wizard Face planted, my birthday, thanks guys, and how it elevated every day since then. Uh, Chris Birch of Modifus says, um, at the same time, we launched our own World Builders community content program supporting creators to become our future competitors through a curated, supported program offering free marketing seminars and free art packs, more via DriveThruRPG. This has had a huge uptake with lots of creators who were previously working on 5e indie products switching to us. And uh, they kind of wrap up here by saying the controversy over the OGL also represents the best possible scenario for Zine Quest and Zine Month, two creator-focused events helping to bring tiny pamphlet-sized TTRPG experiences to life. And both events run through the month of February. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now, they don't mention it here. They don't mention it here, and that's perfectly okay. I don't... I don't expect Polygon to, to rush out and embrace the OSR for reasons that are best left not gone into right now. But let me say this. Let me just say this. Um, a rising tide has lifted all boats, guys. Old school essentials, swords and wizardry, Osric, the stuff that, that we love, all of that is getting boosted too. Okay, and I say game on. I say game on, guys. This is definitely a moment we should relish. Uh, well done, Wizards of the Coast. And with you deciding, uh, apparently your your spokesman, your lead producer, and his little uh oh last night, which I did a video on earlier this afternoon, uh, deciding to fire even more customers. Who knows? Now, the cynical part of me, the cynical part of me says that this is all part of the plan. The Wizards of the Coast, because they've said they want to move completely to digital, they're essentially firing those of us bitterly clinging to our, our rule books and our physical dice and our hand-painted pewter miniatures, and all this is just a ploy. But I cannot help but think with Hasbro's down numbers and the economy continuing to tighten that this doesn't hurt them just a little bit. But you guys tell me what you think. Uh, just put a comment down below and just, just let me know what you think. You, you, you guys have been great in the comments uh, with the discussions. It, it's been awesome. So thank you all. Thank you, everyone. We are... Um, at uh 3973 on the subs so we're almost to 4000 and when we reach 4000 we'll have 4000 subs <laughs> so but i i thank you all for your continued support i'll be back in just a little bit just a little bit for the eight o'clock live stream and the nine o'clock let's play first edition advanced dungeons and dragons Peace, everybody, and stay positive, because this is some great news to wrap up the day with. Am I right? I'm right. Bye-bye.